In this tutorial, we're going to make a couple more questions for our quiz bank, our question bank, and that will be a couple multiple choice questions. So again, over to settings, down to question bank, and select the option questions. In the question bank screen, we now want to create a new question. When the pop-up window appears, we are going to check the little box or the little radio button next to the option multiple choice. And we'll go down and click next, top. In the general box, the uh, category, which I forgot to select. If you remember at the first screen, I should have selected the category chapter one. So this is a good chance for me to say, oh darn, I forgot to select it, but that's okay. I can choose it right here, right now. The question name, let's say, um, my question will be sky is blue. My question text, the question I'm asking them is the sky blue. My question grade, I'm going to give them two points for this question and penalty factor, um, at this point, it doesn't really matter what penalty factor you put in. In fact, I usually will put a zero. But you could put a two if you wanted to. General feedback, I am skipping over that. Now, multiple choice questions. Is there one correct answer or multiple correct answers? And you know how those multiple choice quiz questions can go. In this particular question, I only have one correct answer. Next, you have shuffle the choices meaning your options A, B, C, D that the students get to select, do you want those shuffled? I do, so I'm going to leave a check mark. You may not want to shuffle them. How do you want to number the choices with A, B, C, capital A, B, C, one, two, three, or no numbering? I'm fine with the first choice, so I'll leave it with A, B, C. And as we scroll farther down, the choice one, the answer we'll say is green. Grade none because that's the incorrect answer. Do you want the students to see some information, feedback, after they select or if they select the green option? That's up to you. I'm going to skip past it and scroll down to choice two. Choice two will be my correct answer. The, is the sky or what color is the sky? Blue. The grade should be a hundred percent because it is the only correct answer. If they select it, they get a 100%. Choice three will say the sky is brown. No grade for that. And I'm not going to enter feedback in this instance. We'll say it's orange. No grade. We'll say the sky is purple. No grade. And if I wanted to put in more colors, I could click this button right here that says blanks for three more choices. So you could give them lots of choices and really make it a stickler. But I'm not going to at this point, so we'll scroll down. The overall feedback for any correct response, do you want a certain answer? For partially correct responses, partially correct answers, do you want them to see some feedback? Or for incorrect? Again, these are all optional. But to make a quick quiz, I usually skip past those. And I'll skip past tags for now and just save changes. And you can now see that I have two questions. Sky is blue. Notice the symbol. It's a multiple choice, so you can notice what the icon symbol looks like. Just like the true false has its own icon symbol. That'll become important later on. My category is now set to chapter one and I want to create one more question. This time I'm going to create another multiple choice. I will select it and hit next. I'll double check that my category is correct. My question for this one will be check all items that are input devices. So this is a multiple answer one. As I scroll down, one or multiple answers. This one will have multiple answers allowed because there will be more than one correct. Shuffle the choices, that's fine. 
Number the choices, A, B, C, that's fine. So let me give one answer here. Mouse, a mouse is an input device. I will give them 50% because I will have two correct answers, so they will get 50% for that, for selecting that option. Answer two, I'll have keyboard. They will get their other 50% from that answer because that is the second correct answer. Choice three will be a printer. They get no points because it is an incorrect answer. Choice four will be a regular monitor. Grade will be none because that is an incorrect choice. Choice five will be a plotter. Again, grade none. So if you review, I had five choices, three incorrect, so they have no point, but two that are correct and I did give them each 50%. And please know that when your choices add up, they have to add up to 100% or the program will stop and tell you to fix that problem. So whatever, however many you have that are correct, they do have to add up to 100%. So I have two correct, they each get 50% of the points. I will skip past all the feedback boxes and I will save changes. And you can see that we now have two multiple choice questions and one true false.